What's up, Dusty Crew? In this one, I'm going to take you through all the recent modifications Spence has been building for the dust buggy, including the UMP system and the new side mirrors. So to kick off this filtration build, we made two plenums, and these will fit over each carb. This is what the inside of the plenum looked like before we welded a cap on one side to plug it off. With the carb plenums made, it's now time to start fabricating the main shaft that the air will travel through from the air box to the carbs. This proved to be quite challenging because we had to take 3 inch diameter tubing and merge it into 4 inch diameter tubing, and we had to do this while maneuvering around the fan shroud. Thankfully, we had Darren from Prowler Speed and Custom help us weld her on up, and she looked beautiful afterwards. This is what you haven't seen yet. So it bolts onto the firewall. The UMP air box attaches to that. And Spence is supporting it with this nice custom bracket that they made. So excited for this. And the reason that we're doing this is because we're getting a crap ton of dirt in our motor. Despite having filters and pre-filters, it's just too dusty in California. So <laughs> we got to change the setup. This is what we came up with. Check out the welds on this thing. Those took forever. <laughs> Well, the whole manifold there. took a while. System sealed. Goodness 
gracious. Oh, oh, last thing to do right here. Oh, I got the wrong size. Almost half. Seven sixteenths. Seven yeah. What? You know, it sounds really good right now. A root beer float. You just had a coke? Slurping. <laughs> that doesn't mean that a root beer float can't sound okay. good. Three eighths can go back. I need one more seven sixteenths. Is my seven sixteens. Oh where, oh where could you be? There you are. There we are. Yeah. <laughs> For the next motor. All right. system was built, Spencer moved on to trying to make some side mirrors for the bug. The first thing Spencer made was the base plate, and then he started bending some metal and tack welding it to get the right shape for the mirrors. We got the mirrors at a local shop that specializes in car accessories. Spencer also picked up four of these mini LED lights so that he could attach them to the mirrors. He ended up making angled brackets for the lights so that they would point slightly outward and give us more light to the sides when we're off-roading. He ended up attaching the mirrors via rivets, and I think that it gave it a really cool look overall. Check out how ridiculously bright these lights on the side mirrors are now, you guys. That should definitely help us see more at night.